good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching from are we staying safe i hope we are it may seem as if things have eased a little bit but note that active cases are rising very high in some places and ghana is significantly low thanks to the measures taken by our governments but then there are still active cases rising so do well to adhere to the safety precautions wear your mask wash your hands and the running water frequently and continue to practice social distancing in the previous lesson we've learned extensively about the airport vocabulary that we may need phrases and sentences that we need to know to facilitate easy passage through the airport in china in the previous episode we studied words like first class to dang tang to dang tang business class shang wu tang shang wu tang economy class jing ji tang jing ji tang and we formed sentences with all these classes of seating in air travel in case you missed it you can review it on our youtube channel at netu tvgh and it's scrolling down right here on your screen in this lesson we'll talk about commonly used phrases in chinese interaction in terms of business of course so let's get straight into it one thing that people really want to know is how to say before and after in chinese and how to use them in sentences first of all let's take before okay before yi qian yi qian before yi qian before or formally before or formally i'm going to show you how both these meanings are used so how is this used in chinese in phrases when speaking this word is used in two ways the first is when you want to express that a certain situation was like this previously and then now it's like that when you are expressing yourself in that situation you use yi qian yi qian so in actual sense we'll say it means used to this used to be like this this used to be like that so that's the first way with examples like i used to work here i used to be a student he used to be my friend etc in that way and then the second way is used to express the word ago it means something happened some time ago using a specific time using the expression yi qian so this is the second way let's let's tackle the first now and the first is used to yi qian used to and this is how the structure of the sentence will be yi qian comes before the rest of the sentence the word yi qian it comes before the rest of the sentence let's take a few examples i used to work in that company i used to work in that company yi qian wo zai na ge gong si gong suo yi qian wo zai na ge gong si gong suo i used to work in that company yi qian is before wo zai zai at na ge gong si that company gong suo is to work gong si is company and gong suo is to work so gong si gong suo work in that company so the literal translation of the sentence will be before i worked in that company before i worked in that company so let's take another sentence before i was an employee but now i am a ceo or i used to be an employee but now i am a ceo yi qian wo shi yi ming yuan gong dan xian zai shi zhe xing jiang yi qian wo shi yi ming yuan gong dan xian zai shi zhe xing jiang so we've come to the end of this episode and in the next episode we are going to break the sentence down a little bit you can review this on our youtube channel and at tvgh or on our website and at tvgh.com this is chinese for business people my name is nana kwami jenfi have a wonderful day and keep watching the 2TV.